All right, what is it going on, guys? Today we are gonna make a simple login for uh, for Python. Um, I'm gonna be using Sublime Text, but it would be the exact same in the default um, the default idle program with uh, Python. So um, let's go ahead and do this. So I already have the new project made, um, but if you don't, you could go new file and then right off the bat do save as and I'm gonna do uh, you gotta name it as a Python file here and then I'll call it video and then do the extension on it just to make sure that it comes up here so you get the .py extension um, and then go to syntax under view syntax and then make sure it's on Python it's gonna help you out a lot It'll, uh, I'll just let you know when you made errors and stuff. Um, so anyways, let's get to it. I'm just going to put a little note here. Um, uh, we're going to want to use the time. We're going to want to use that in here. So we're going to import time. And that's going to let us like set a, set a delay when it, when it gives us new information. Um, and so first things first, let's tell it to print, so to display, um, please hear your username. Okay, it's going to say that, and then it's going to be our turn to type something, so we're going to just call it, uh, uh, username, or just name, whatever you want to name it, uh, equals input and then you could do uh, uh, we'll leave that blank okay um, so now it's named input and that's what we're gonna put into our if variable I don't even know if function something like that um, so we're gonna say uh, if the name if that name uh, is equal to the name you want to put in here, um, which I'm just going to use my name, which would be that, um, that's how that would work. But instead, we're going to say that uh, username is equal to that, and we're going to put username here. Seems to work a little better. Okay, and then colons, and we're going to indent here, we're going to say uh, print, we'll say dot dot dot, like it's loading, or we'll say please, please wait. And then that's when we're going to use our time variable, so it's time dot sleep, that I cannot type, and then uh, we'll do a second and a half. And then again, and I'm gonna give it. I'm just gonna give it some room here, so it's gonna like make an extra spot down, and then it's gonna get that, and then print. We're gonna say. Um, it's gonna say correct. Please enter your password. Then we're going to make another if thing, and we're going to say if it's not the username, that's what the exclamation mark then the equal sign means, um, print, we'll just do the same please wait thing here, please wait, and then we'll say print, oh, should I should have copied that too. Uh, incorrect uh, closing program. Then we'll set another delay, give you time to see it, and then exit. Uh, and that should close the program. Um, so with this, it'll say uh, password, I oh know, that's already a variable. Password uh, is an input thing, 
And the password, let's call it password one, is going to be admin. And we'll set, we'll pretty much just copy this thing right here. We'll change this, say if password equal to password one, please wait, and then it'll say correct. Um, logging in and time to sleep all right um, then we could do uh, print welcome uh, we'll actually go like this if you wanted to put username uh, go outside your your quotes and put a plus sign and then whatever you named this so in my case it'd be username okay and then it'll, uh, it'll just be waiting for an input so save that control say or control s whatever and here we have it right here and I'm going to open with this here we go. It's asking us to please enter our username, which is this right here, and it's gone. There we go. Um, it's case sensitive too, so we'll put that in. It's going to tell us please wait, and then correct, and then uh, our password was admin. Tell us please wait, correct, logging in. And then it says welcome Lucas because that was what I put for username, and Windows just decided to do the little explore restart thing. Let's try this again. Open with. So now we're going to do it the incorrect way. Sorry, there you go. Um, hmm. Okay, there we go. And then, wow, yeah, this is just all out of whack here. So this should be um, here. And then we just get rid of that. We'll give it just another time. Sleep. We'll just give it like 10 seconds. Um, and I'll save this again. God dang it. Why does that keep happening? Open with. Here we go. John. Correct, closing program, and then it closes after 1.5 seconds. So um, I'll paste this code on uh, on Pastebin or somewhere, maybe in the description. Um, but just with these kind of simple ifs and and print and uh, import and input, you can do quite a bit of stuff. Uh, you just gotta get the ideas together. So, anyways, uh, that was the first tutorial for Sublime Text, and I'll see you later.